Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve Lol, Steve Lol, and this is the first episode of the Beast Lounge podcast. With I'm I'm Double Dord. I'm Dot Kamikaze X. Uh, Jamie and George. So yeah, they're they're the names. Yeah. Okay, George, go. You have things to talk about. Well, <laughs> we've got loads of stuff. Where should we start? Black Ops again for the like thirtieth time. Yeah, we were just trying to do it with Josh, and he started being really what Josh is, and yeah, so we felt like doing it without him, and he'll probably be on next week. So don't cry. Hmm. So, if you guys haven't heard, hopefully we'll get this up by the end of the night, so it's actually a Halloween episode, and we just got information that there are four characters in the Black Ops zombie game. It is Robert Nixon, I mean, not Nixon, what's his name? Richard Nixon. Yeah. Yep. Something Castro. Fidel, Fidel Castro. Castro. Yeah, uh, JFK and Robert McNamara. Robert McNamara, he's just a bad kid. Who is he? Where'd he come from? He's a Secretary of Defense. Who he cares about him? He doesn't defend anything. He's going to be a legend with the pistol. I, 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 all the people I could pick, I'd definitely pick Fidel Castro because he's just so taboo and bad, you know. Who wouldn't want to be him? Hopefully, you know, they actually, Activision or Treyarch, actually have a sense of humor and actually put good, you know, downloadable people into the game. I'd kill to play as someone funny like... uh. If I could play as Dexter, I would literally Michael C. Hall, I'd love to play as him. Yeah, him. He's a legend. You just walk around with a knife, cutting people's faces, putting <laughs> them in a blood slide. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. Um, when we were talking about playing as someone like Rambo or Rocky, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Rambo and Rocky, they're the same person. <laughs> yeah, Arnold same Spot person, Omega. different I'd love to characters. play as him. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that'd be hilarious. Arnold, Arnold be... should be in there. He's in... He's a... Uh... What is he again? Senator. Senator, yeah. He. So well, he was California, be... not really anything to do with the whole world. Well, the whole of America. Well, anyway, the first map is actually based off the Pentagon. 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 Um, Pentagon. White I House. I haven't watched any Black Ops gameplay at all, so I have no idea what guns there are or. All right, um, stuff I'll like stop. That. I'll do that because I'm a bit of a Black Ops nerd and I've been like learning everything. Um. In terms of weapons, apparently the SMGs are like not overpowered, but they're probably the best. Well, I've like, seen one uh, MP5K video once the beta actually came out for like the third day, and people actually started recording it. MP5K looks like the UMP, really yeah. overpowered. I don't, I don't well, say it's overpowered. I'm sure out well, of all I, the things from yeah. Modern Warfare 2, they're probably going to work on balance since they're crying, like you know, JD well, saying about the sniper. Yeah, What's... I wouldn't say it's overpowered yet until I've actually used it, but it does look really fast-paced, and I love the fact that you can actually rush in Black Ops again. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell you how much I've missed rushing. I'm thinking Marathon Lightweight and Steady Aim is going to be a bit ridiculous in that game, because Marathon... Well, I don't think so. I think I think Ninja balances everything in the whole game, because if, no. no, if both people use Ninja, then that's balanced. And if you use Ninja and the other person uses Steady Aim... Or whatever. Well, you suppose you can use Steady and with Ninja, but if somebody doesn't use Ninja, then they are they don't have the advantage. So like Ninja kind of balances everything, you know. One thing yeah. I'm not one, th one thing I'm not liking about Ninja is that they've mixed Ninja with Sit Rep Pro. That's a good thing. That balances it. Uh, that I balances it because then if you don't use Ninja, then you're you're at a loss. And if you do you use Ninja, you're still at a loss because if you, other people have Ninja, doesn't really do anything. So I think that yeah, balances the game. I think everybody actually, using yeah. Ninja. In Modern Warfare 2 was boring. That's actually smart that they've put Ninja Pro to actually be sit rep pro because it's not like, you know, 100% silent footsteps now. You can actually hear them if you've got Ninja Pro. Yeah, I hated it in Modern Warfare 2. My headset didn't do anything. I paid money for that. Like, what the exactly. fuck? <laughs> I, paid, like, I paid 50 quid for my headset. You know, it's a tactical advantage in... <laughs> COD gaming, and I actually want to be able to hear yeah. footsteps. I paid my money to get them kills. Well, according to you, I was I was watching um Motherfuzz's live stream yesterday, and apparently, sound touring is a lot harder than it is in Modern Warfare 2. That makes no sense. Because the maps up make so much noise, launch beeps like constantly, oh, yeah. and the rocket launches every one and a half minutes. Wow, I didn't think Hold about on. that. The map, I hate the map background sound on World of War. Some of it is ridiculous. Like, yeah. you just hear r random screaming on one map, and, or you hear Hitler's speech on, I think, Dome, is it? Yeah. Hitler's speech on Dome. That is just funny. It's just randomly hearing Hitler in the background. <laughs> what I'm really not 
hoping too much for it is that JD 2020 took away the quick scoping ability. So he's just encouraging people to actually play sitting in a bush, hard scoping. And, yeah. you know, people like 402, I'm not saying JD 2020 because I have no idea what the game's like, yeah, but he might be there. They are just so bad at the game that they actually enjoy having last stand on and Marty them and like, yeah, you know, they go like they go like three to fifty two each game and when they die like fifteen times in a row and they get their Marty them and it gets them a kill they're like oh yes four this, kills. This is all I'm gonna say is if you want like a community manager or somebody testing your game get somebody like me because all I do is play Call of Duty and I'll find out the problems of the game or get somebody like Xcal people who are good at the game and they know what's wrong they'll take out last stand. But there are other people like JD2020 who plays like 10 minutes a day. He's like, oh, I'm sitting in a bush. Get one headshot. Go die 15 times. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what he's going to be like. Because he's yeah. like one of those four-year-old people who play hardcore all day. And they get one kill a game sitting there, not moving your left yeah. stick. Yeah, it gets yeah. really ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think I was watching... I think it was a dual com with like um, Blame Truth and Crunk Skunk or something. And he spoke about how apparently Wings played with JD2020. And all that JD2020 used was a um, MP40 with Jug. And then he was, and then Wings asked him why, and he said, "Because it's good." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's just it, it boggles because my mind. It's good. Like for me, when I play COD Four, I've been playing it the last few weeks. I've gotten like forty thousand kills in the past month. It's like basically no lifing the shit out of it. And I I think I've used the M16 once, when like when I pick it up and like ACOG M40 probably I've never had a class for that in like the past two years, literally. So yeah. I basically never play. I'm not gonna play a game and use some overpowered because I want to enjoy the game and get like, like, uh, like feel like I'm gaining something like yeah. actually good at it. Well, when Modern Warfare 2 came out, I was just one amongst the many who were actually posting it and not, you know, outstanding from the, you know, different themselves from everyone else. So this time around, I'm hoping to do what Tommy does and actually mix everything up. Hmm. Tommy's a beast. I love you, Pyrotos. I do too. Anyway. Tom, Tommy's got <laughs> such good gameplays and he makes everything work together, which is why I love the videos. And he's the British Gene Nanners as well, so everybody's got to love that. Yeah, no, he's such a beast. I'm surprised. Uh, he should have more subs than he actually has, to be honest. Everybody should have more subs. There's people who need to have less subs and give them to me. I'm not going to name any <laughs> names. I really wish I could name names and murder them with a fist full of ice or something. Yeah, I have burgers. Marty them with a fist full of ice. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I'm high. Uh, this is <laughs> this is one thing that's been um. I don't know about my stance on this in Black Ops. Have you guys heard about what Tactical Mask Pro does and shit? That's so pointless. Yeah. No, no, no. The thing is, what it does is that it re obviously it reduces the effects of like um, concussion and flash grenades and stuff. But also, when you like stun someone, they'll come up as a red dot on your map. That's kind of good. That'll make the perk more usable. It'll make it more usable, but I think it'll make it a bit ridiculous. I could just like have scavenger and start spamming stuns across I'm the map. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to pick up stuns anymore or anything like can't, that. Scavenger only picks up ammo, right? Uh, you can't pick up like claymores and shit. Well, I think you can pick up claymores, but you can't pick up frags and things like that. I was, I've only watched like one full gameplay of Black Ops, and I watched a clip the other day, and some guy got a four kill streak from like camping. He called in his airstrike. His uh, care package, sorry. Out of the care package, he got that a Guardian Angel, is it? Where you get a rocket and, like, ammo. Valkyrie missile. It. Yeah. He literally had 20 rockets. He was just running around, killing oh. people with rockets. That is Grim going Reaper. to do my head in. 20 yeah. he got. That's he had 20. 5, 4, fine. 20 over. I Too know. much. 20. 20, 20. Speaking about care packages, I just I'm one, I, I can't understand why would they bring it back? Everyone complained about care packages being stupid. The care package glitch just oh, it just made me never want to see a care package <laughs> ever again. That was only one good thing about the care package glitch. It made, let me get cold blooded pro really quickly. Well, I, I was in just... a game with Josh and he was he was so good at the care package glitch. He had a, one uh, what's it called uh, uh, emergency airdrop and he swear he called in about 50 of them in like a few seconds he just kept jumping up throwing another one another one another one and all i saw was ac 130s everywhere it was oh that was just so ridiculous i remember when that glitch came out it was fun if you were on the team that was actually getting the... yeah but if you really had like enemies on the other team doing it as well that just really pissed me off but when i was doing it, i was actually having fun doing it because it was just so good because 
I could easily get an eight kill streak and just sit back in and just keep throwing it the whole game. Especially if you're leveling up. That was amazing for XP. Yeah. Okay, so what's the one thing that you guys are looking most forward to in Black Ops? Mm. Things in the game. Probably the Russian factor, just because I miss it. I don't like, you know, everyone just camping in corners for their kill streaks and everything like that. I just want to be able to rush in there, take everyone out in the room, reload, take everyone out in the next room. I, I'm Same. I'm going to look forward to zombies and probably just playing with you guys and Sam and Trout and Josh in the first night. Like, last last time we got Modern Warfare 2, I played with Sam, Trout, you, uh, Josh. This was before we met Jamie, obviously, and... Um, like, it was probably the most fun I ever had in gaming ever, just playing the first Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 night. Just literally, I don't think we lost one game, and so much fun. All right. One thing I'm hoping for is that they bring back Mosh Pit. That was, like, one of the most fun playlists I've ever played in my entire life. Because, let's just say, not many of the people on Mosh Pit were too good. Oh, we had so much fun and in, Black, and me and Mosh Pit, me, me and uh, Jordan, Josh, and all them guys. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the feature where... Uh, I've told you guys this about 50 times, so I haven't told my subscribers. Oh, I forget yet. now as well, because I remember you saying it. Oh, yeah, yeah going said, into wager yeah. match when you get killed and pissed yeah. off. Yeah, if I get really pissed off or something from, you know, like Christmas noobs coming out and just spamming Marty, not Marty, the last stand and grenades everywhere and stuff like that and just get annoying i'll just go play gun game wager match or one in the chamber and i can actually have fun because i know i can triumph over everyone who is playing i that. hope when you're in gun game and one in the chamber i hope they do this so much they allow you to be in a party because that's all i would love is to be able to talk to everybody while you're playing gun one in the chamber and, I, I and... Doubt... oh yeah i hope we can stay in party because that would be so annoying if like I have to leave just if I want to play on my like, own. All, all I'm going to say is stupid. that when they brought out, you had to talk in game chat for Modern Warfare 2. Josh and me, all me and Josh ever. would ever do would go into the lobby. Well, I'm not saying I do this because I don't want people hating on me, but Josh would abuse people to beyond belief. People would leave the lobby because he'd abuse them. And like that wouldn't happen if he was in the party. So that's what I blame uh, Robert Bowling for that. <laughs> Actually, Everyone. I just... I just really want to quickly mention something about second chance. One thing I'm not liking is that uh, at the beginning, the first like the first assault rifle class has last stand on it. Wow, the fuck? Which is so stupid. But, but the cool thing is, as soon as you make in your own custom classes, you have to pay like three thousand cod points just to buy a second chance. And I don't think many people actually buy it. I'm not too people sure will. There's always those like what I was saying before the four year olds who play one once a day and they kill you once and they make you smash your controller like Wings Redemption. And, and me. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I've broken three like, you know, those guys who play for 10 minutes a day and they kill you once and they're terrible and it's just... I hate getting killed by a really bad person because it's so depressing. It makes you me feel like the game's bad because if somebody's worse than you, they should never kill you ever. I know that sounds really not fair, but I'm just saying it. If I put my time into the game, I want to win every gunfight who's, who I'm better <laughs> yeah. than. Yeah, other than, like, when I run no, into man. Socrates or something like that and I just get marked myself. Well, I'll, I'll accept that. If I run into a good player, I'll just respect him for him. So, um, one of my favorite things about uh, Koji Black Ops is it's, it's a really small thing, but I kind of like it. I'm kind of a bit skeptical about yeah. it. It's the Blackbird. Because, basically, it's like a super UAV. What it does is it shows you exactly the direction they're going in. So you can tell whether they're coming towards you or whatever. Only thing is, it's an eight kill streak, so I don't think many people are going to use it. But that's one. Of the, that's what do you mean? Does it just streak. constantly show a red UA, um, a red uh, dot on your UAV? Uh, no. or... Instead of a dot, it's actually an arrow, which shows you which direction they're coming from, and it sweeps past. So every it sweeps past, showing the arrow. So you know ex if they're coming towards you, if they're going away from you, or wherever. And uh, that's what probably is, me, it, most use kill streak. To be honest. Does it just choose one random person, or? No, it, it's like a UAV, but it shows you the direction they're going. Wow, that's a bit ridiculous. Yeah, no, but wait, there's going to be loads it, of people. Wait, does it show the direction they're aiming? Uh, no, the direction they're moving well, in. That's obviously, that's easy when you have a UAV. I always see them, like, if the, especially in Modern Warfare 2, if you call in two UAVs, it's, like, really fast. So I don't think it's going to be that yeah. overpowered just because it's showing where they're going. If it was showing where they're aiming, that would be so overpowered because you'd be able to go around the corner just at the right, right time, you know? I'm going to double check now. Uh... So, yeah... Basically, I'll, I'm going to go on to something else since we've talked with Black Ops a lot. The, people always complain about Modern Warfare 2 being such a bad game, but it's the people who play the game that ruin it for everybody else. Like, nobody has to use one-man army. Nobody has to do this. Nobody has to do that. 
you know, it's the people who are playing the game. Like, why do people use one man army every single game? Because they're trying to annoy people, which is really weird. The games, the game's actually pretty good. There is some features that really pissed us yeah. off. If but... you could just take out one man army, danger close, rockets, noob tubes, last stand, martyrdom, painkiller. Uh, sh- some shotguns were on the other team. I don't mind them on my team because I'm not getting killed by them. And you know, <laughs> you <get> overpowered <laughs> guns like the ACR, the SCAR, the Tar 21, the Famous, the M16, the UMP, the MP5. <laughs> You're just never... all right, Stephen. All right, you're just naming everything in the game. Everything in that game pisses <laughs> they, me off. I've played that game it... in like three months. Yeah, but they made it too noob friendly. I mean, it's a first yeah. person shooter game. If you're good, you should be rewarded for it, not punished for yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people it's... who are bad, who are dying five times in a row, getting painkiller and just that is the worst idea to ever put in they... a video game. If you do bad, you should want to get better rather than say, "Huh, I'm dying three times now. I might as well just stay the way I am." You know? And if you like, if you see people who go on like five deaths on Counter Strike, they get slapped. They're like, "Oh shit, I really need to practice my aim. I really need to try hard now to kill this guy." Rather than saying, oh, "I have painkiller, I can just hip fire him across the map," you know? Exactly. Well, they could just run towards me with their pain- infamous painkiller, commando me across the map, God, and then start teabagging me. Oh, I hate commando so much. I never raged so much about commandos other than the models because I was like the first person on my whole friends is to be first prestige and. I remember that shit. I was like, I, I was, was on Modern Warfare 2 for like three days straight. I was, yeah. The I wish they actually just made Commando just like a, two feet extra, maybe extra lunge. And Commando Pro is good because I like the feature where you fall down off a like tall building, you don't die. I think Commando I should have been, should have been a yeah, tactical knife. Just made you knife faster. Fuck the lunge. No, no, no. Commando. The normal knifing lunge. I'm so. I think personally that knifing in Call of Duty in general is just over. Yeah, I got knifed by cutting cut four today like three times, and I was like, "What the fuck? I might upload that." That was a lunge, and then in the kill cam, it doesn't look that bad. But still, getting lunged at all yeah. in a but gunfight, nobody is, would do that. The thing is, like, I think Battlefield's probably got the best knifing system because no one runs around knifing. Oh in yeah, definitely. I love. Yeah, it takes forever to get your knife out. That was fun because you actually earn it and you get slapped most of the time. I love getting them dog tags. And yeah, yeah the, the, like. The knife is definitely the worst, well, it's a one-hit kill, but it's the worst thing in uh, Battlefield because it actually took time to take out. Well, after that, if you got the kill, they rewarded you with a dog tag, yeah. making yeah. people actually want to use the knife. Yeah, so, like, it's completely balanced in Battlefield because if you, if you try to knife someone, you get shot while they're trying to knife them. It doesn't happen, like, in Call of Duty where you still get the knife. If you, get, if you knife yeah. someone and you get shot at the same time, you never... I don't think I've ever knifed somebody like that. Even though it's dedicated servers, it's still... You still never get a knife. I've actually had this. Uh, epic. I've actually had this thought in my head about this sort of thing though. Since the dolphin dive is going to be in that <laughs> game, you know, when you're running and you drop into prone, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, surely that's going to be a lot harder on default because you're pressing B and you're holding it down. So that, I'm assuming people who are, are actually going to switch to t- tactical, which I'm going to love because I fucking hate getting panic knifed. If I'm, How if do I you do it? Are you just sprinting and clicking and you'll you die? Or... Yeah, that's, it, it's like a way of trying to get rid of drop shots. I don't think drop shots like... that bad. Like that, drop shot, I, there's nothing no, wrong with drop shots. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. Right. I'm not saying it's overpowered. I don't mind when so many drop shots. I, mean, I just shoot them in the head because their head is the only thing I can see. But when I try and drop shot, since my connection is so bad, in the kill cam, I'm never on the fucking ground. <laughs> that's the truth. I'm always <laughs> still standing up. I'm like, what? I drop shot him. And then in the kill cam, I'm still standing there like, do do do. Yeah. So uh, I don't really care about drop shot and getting taken out. I'd rather just jump around like a dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, think it's getting taken out. I think you have to sprint and do it just to actually get the dive. If you just you can still drop shot. Yeah. But you, you can still have to drop shot. You have to be standing yeah, still. You Maybe you can still walk just... when you drop shot. Yeah. I really I have a good feeling about Black Ops. I don't feel like it's going to be another Modern Warfare 2. I could actually tell that was going to be a bad game. Just because of the gameplays I actually did saw like a month before the game came out. Yeah. This one I actually have a good feeling about. I feel it's gonna be a pretty good game, but it's not gonna come, you know, close to COD Four. The good old COD Four. It How had bad that... things about it, but it had good things as well. Jamie, all Jamie's been doing playing COD Four me the past two weeks. Every game he's like, Oh my god, any rage quits. I never rage quit yeah, anymore that's, unless that's it's a bad now, connection but, or people that's are now. Go go back three years. And when the game yeah, first came right, out, that right. was epic playing back then. With everyone. I still no love one playing used... it now, every game I People play. used Frag 3 back then, but 
Not as much as they use it now. Nobody uses anything like that now. No one uses trip practice. All people use now is martyrdom, I swear. Martyrdom. Yeah. Martyrdom, last stand, and jug. It's like so much in cut I've got, I've got no problem with jug, but when they're using jug and last stand, it's like, why can't you die? Just accept your death. I outshot uh, you. Just... Jug can be really annoying. Like today, we ran into a team, and the whole team had jug. Some people say jug just counters stopping power. No, it fucking doesn't. I sprayed these guys with a whole P90 clip. No, but none of them died. Jug is like fucked apparently, up, I swear. Apparently, stopping power it takes one extra bullet to kill. I mean, one less bullet to kill, and Juggernaut takes one extra bullet to kill. I don't kill. think that's true. So I think you have so much in, over. Yeah, if you have stopping power, it should just cancel each other out. But it doesn't. It feels like it takes like five or six extra bullets to kill. Yeah, when I, when I use Jug, so I, I always yeah. kill people fast. But when I use stopping power against Jug, uh, I just get raped. Yeah. There's a reason people use Jug, yeah. because it's good. Like, it actually works. Shotguns in COD 4 with Jug are so good, but with uh, stopping power, they're so bad. I don't know what, oh, how trust it me, They're not good. They are not good. I've got some clips on my computer, which I'm going to load to my channel. Jesus. I always get good clips with the shotgun. There's one thing I think the biggest mistake they've made in every Call of Duty game that they've made is not having dedicated servers. There's nothing that pisses me off more than lagging. Because I have such a bad connection, and I, it's not like I'm poor, I can't get a better connection. I have the best I can get in my area, and I still get outshot just because my host is so bad. So I not feel fair. so for people in Australia, because they're always on one bar. Oh, you, know, you know they get host a lot? Their connection over there is like 100 meg and shit. Yeah, but if you've got a friend in the, like, the US and you're Australian, or a friend in the UK, you can't play with yeah, them. They're going to have lo local you know, search though, in Black Ops. Just like um, yeah, but even, um, my even friend Mad Dog, who's Australian, he always gets into Australian games on Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, but if you're playing with him, either he's permanently going to be on a one ball, or he's going to get a host and put everybody on a one ball. Yeah, they really need so dedicated servers. It would literally make... I would pay so much money just for a dedicated server game. I'd pay like 500 euro just for Black Ops with dedicated servers. That's how much I hate lagging. I'd actually seriously pay 5,000 Microsoft points to buy the future of dedicated servers. Yeah, because I played the COD franchise so much, you know, it'll be a wise investment for I'm me. I'm so sick of lag; it makes me rage so much. I'd actually don't mind dedicated servers, but I like not having them at the same time. Just for when I get host, I know I have that teensy weensy bit of advantage. If I get host, it, I still don't do bad because my ping is bad. Like some people think, oh, host is everything, but your ping still mm -hmm. like how long it takes from your ting to get to your. Uh, your internet provider in your town or city so you still have like i've got like an 80 ping and if you guys have ever listened to like painkiller already they talk about ping my ping is so much worse than woody's and fucking wings and well i'm just not even fair for me <laughs> they get like 50 upload they shouldn't complain wings actually we has get, like, wings and what's it called one. they all have bad upload and only in some parts of america you get a really good one like so yeah some people every nearly everybody's fucked up the Tabe has got ridiculous. If you if you ever play with Tabe, he gets host every single game. I don't think when remember that we had time we played with him, he got host every game back when he just even games out. he's not in he gets. Host. He just join he, he just turns he just joins the game and it he gives just... him host. It's like oh he's in here we got to give him host his connection. It's just scaring us. <laughs> he just turns his Xbox on and everyone's hosting. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So yeah. How long is this going for so far? We can far? probably do it for another five minutes if you want. Uh, what's the time I don't now? know. It's probably been about 20 minutes, 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, then. What should we talk about now? Again, we already time. talked to our community, didn't we? Uh, no, no, YouTube community. Oh, yeah, the YouTube community. You guys suck. You guys are so mean. Stop trolling. That's, I'm actually <laughs> serious. You need to stop trolling everybody. No, if people make a video... Like, if they make a 10 minute long video, anybody, even G Unit, even though G Unit, I hate him, and I'm not gonna, like, I don't even care if I'm bringing up his name because I'm sure not much people like him, but even him, he doesn't deserve the hate because he takes his time to make the videos, you know, everybody. So I never dislike a video unless it's completely pointless, like somebody stealing Hutch's video or something like that. That's what it takes me to dislike yeah. a video, or else it's somebody else's, you know. So, like, I never dislike a video if I know somebody took time to make it. It's not fair, they deserve it, you know. The only look, the only th um, thing that ever pisses me off on YouTube when someone is hating on another commentator. I'm not going to mention any names, but it has happened. I'm before. hating on G Unit right now. Oh, yeah, but you're Steve, so it doesn't matter. But <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, if you don't like the comment the commentator, or you don't like, like, let's specifically say about Machinima. Like, if there's someone on Machinima you don't like, 
for example, Jake Machinima with his amazing. I think that's probably Hutch or somebody joking around. No, it isn't. It's some actual. It's kid. nobody because that's bad. just. He put, up, he put up a video of him talking about how to Jake's goat. Oh. Uh, we'll he's put, such a legend. We'll, we'll find that and put that in the link in the description. He is a legend. He, I think he's the best if, sniper ever. D3 but, two, wait, four. wait. What was what was he just talking about like two minutes ago? I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying if you don't like the video, don't click on the video. That's oh the, yeah, the like... community. Um, I really hate the fact that people who are uploading like one video every two or three weeks before, while I was actually. You know, everyone else like me who was actually putting effort and getting like at least four videos up a week or something just for their subscribers. And then once they actually get partnership, then they start to really whore it out and upload like five videos a day. Yeah. That really annoys me. Because... That means they're just doing it for money. It makes you kind of sad because like... Money whores. I'm, I'm not in this for money at all. Money is a nice little... Well, obviously like, nobody really starts out in it for money because you're paying like how much? 200 well, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. I don't say that exactly right now because n- nowadays people start up just for money. I started up a few days ago with like um just because I only got my PVR a few days ago. But I'm only doing it because I'm. I just want to have something to do. I'm bored I'm, the whole time. Well, I'm bored know? and I want to show off my videos. Me getting six <laughs> yeah, clips. Obviously, yeah. that's I what love, we want to do. I love. I love watching Call of Duty videos and I love pre- making them. So. Well, to be fair, nearly every video I upload, I'm saying if you guys want to play me, message me this because I'm. I hate yeah. having an empty party and. Like, I'll, I'll play with all of my subs. Every time, like, a guy messaged me the other day saying I'm, like, an inspiration to him, like, how he watches me play and it makes him better and stuff. I was like, this guy must be trolling. And then I said, hey, yeah, um, add me if you want to play. And it's like, things like that is just awesome where people just want to play with me. Yeah, well, I, like, I actually enjoy putting videos up because when I just read the comments back and everybody's actually... Like, before my internet went out, when I was actually getting my full views, before the sub boxes completely ruined everything, you know, like, 5 or 6k views per video, everyone was loving my videos because I was putting loads out at one time, like, 2 or 3 a day, at least, because that, back then, I was just getting gameplay upon gameplay, and I was so, you know, bored out of my mind because I had nothing else to do apart from play Modern Warfare 2 that I just decided, hey... Let me give my subscribers more entertainment. I'll just put up a couple of extra videos. You know, it takes me no time because I wake up about three or four times a night. Every day. Every day, literally. I think I'm the only person who gets that, but I wake up at least three times a night. So I I commentated them. I saved them. And I rendered one. I went to bed. When I woke up, I rendered another one, went back to bed, woke up, rendered another one, set them to upload, unprivated them whenever I wanted to. So... It's not like it's costing me anything of my free time. It's actually me getting time out of putting the videos out because I'm saving time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, another thing is that pisses me off. Those people who just, they're just out there to get their sub count up, to get their view count up, all that shit. They do oh. stuff like dual comms with people they met five minutes ago. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm not oh, going to yeah. do a dual commentary with anybody because I'm like really antisocial and weird, so... The only people I'm going to do like dual commentaries with is yeah. you two guys and Josh and maybe Sam and Cheryl because I've known them for about a year, but that's it. I don't like doing dual comms with people I don't know because it's just awkward. Yeah, it's so awkward. You, oh, my God. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even know who they are. Like, I don't mind doing a dual comm with somebody really little and wants to get on my channel. I'll be like, yeah, okay, we'll do it, but you have to send me the gameplay because I can't be bothered, like, rendering it out. But, yeah. like, that's about it. I don't mind helping anybody else, but I don't want to go on somebody else's channel having maybe 50,000 people listen to me like stutter and be like eh, I, I, yeah, I don't know yeah. that'd be awkward and then that'd be just embarrassing and people wouldn't subscribe and I don't want people I don't want people subscribing to me just because somebody else t- told them to like tells them to told them told them what the fuck told them I'm to I'm Irish whatever <laughs> potato potatoes potato who, who doesn't like potatoes wow did I really potato. sounded Irish there who doesn't like potatoes <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are anyway, that I was, I'm gonna say like every time I get uploaded a video I get like a hundred to two hundred views and to me that is fucking a shitload that's like a hundred people getting entertained for like a minute or ten minutes I love that it's the same it's the same thing with me I've got like 36 subscribers <laughs> one of my videos got 150 You're views bad. I was getting fucking I was I'm oh my I was celebrating like a bitch because I was liking it when people watch what I like and I'm joking nobody cares what I like <laughs> it's probably because George liked it and everybody follows him or something <laughs> but anyway, do you want to wrap this up in a minute? Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you want to want to yeah. check out my channel, it's I think it's something I forget. 
Mr. Mr. Low Steve, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Low Steve, Steve Low. Low. He's da- Jamie's Dark Kamikaze X. They'll both be in the description. And if you guys want to see another video of this, uh, what should we call it? Beastland. It's Beastland's podcast. Beast- there we are. Beastland podcast. Do you guys want to see another edition of this? We'll, well, leave it in the comments and we will do it and we'll try to get some guests on. Yeah, all right. So peace yeah. out, guys. Bye.